we are surrounded with images uh, of perfection and, and made up images and images that are totally closed and uh, have no opening anymore for anybody to fantasize about. So in my work I always try to make a small difference in that. I grew up in the south of the Netherlands. I mean, I started as a shop window dresser and later as a photographer, artist, creator, publisher, founder of Kessels Kramer. My interest for amateur photography goes back uh, quite a while. I often visited flea markets and there I found family albums that were discarded and that were for sale. Sometimes there was a very beautiful series in there or sometimes there were very hilarious mistakes that these amateurs made and these kind of imperfections always fascinated me. This started in 2000 when I found about 400 photographs on a flea market in Barcelona and it started to rain, they were lying out in the open there and I just decided to, to buy them. I looked at the slides, a man photographed his wife for 12 years and I saw that the longer he photographed her, the smaller she became in the frame. It's quite funny or painful because maybe he lost interest in his main subject or the woman didn't want to be photographed up close anymore. Because in the last image in the book, uh, the woman has almost disappeared and she's standing very small in front of a tree. There's another series of images with people that live in Florida, Fred and Valerie. Fred is very much into photographing Valerie in the water. And in the 80s, he photographed her when she was having her bathing suit on. But in the years after, they got more and more adventurous and Valerie wanted to keep her clothes on. It's their kind of wet clothes adventure. This is a family that is fighting with one of the biggest uh, mysteries in photography. And that's how to shoot my black dog. Being amateur photographers and having a love for their dog, they failed to take the right picture. So every picture you see this black phantom or this black shadow. The series that I found online, there's one with a rabbit that can balance everything on his head. The rabbit's name is Oolong. And Oolong at the end gets a little bit sick. In the beginning the book is very funny, at the end it's very tragical. From a young age, I was like confronted also with the mortality of an image. My parents were looking in family albums of my sister that died. They found an image which became very important to them. So maybe trying to find these stories in other people's albums is something that started almost as a therapy. For me, it has been very interesting, the enormous amount of photographs that we uh, produce every day. At the moment, we see more images uh, before lunch than somebody in the 18th century would see in his whole life. We are consuming photographs, but we hardly look at them anymore. It was my idea to go to the photo storing website Flickr and download their photos that were newly uploaded in 24 hours. At the end of those 24 hours, I had 950,000 photographs on the disk. So I decided to print all the photographs and uh, throw them in the museum space. It shows how the meaning of an image has totally changed. It has like a very short life cycle. It's important to find a certain way to grab people's attention. In a lot of creative disciplines, you have to be quite uh, explicit. Sometimes people uh, hate what you make, but on the other hand, uh, there's a lot of people that love it. <laughs> 